to come uh, forth in Jesus' name. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. First, give an honor to God who's the head of my life, and second to the pastor and the lady of this house, yes. to all the visiting ministers and prophets and apostles and ladies. Just We just bless God for you guys today. Amen. Um, my topic is walking into your destiny. Oh my God. And I'm just a little different, so I had to add a subtopic. Uh, <laughs> it's called walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out. So I'll be coming from Ephesians 2 and 10, which reads, For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And another version reads, God has made us what we are. God made us new people so that we would spend our lives doing the good things he has already planned for us to do. So let's talk about this thing called destiny and how can we walk into it. You see, destiny is defined as your future or your preordained path for your life. The preordained path for your life. Who has preordained this path? It's nobody but God. God doesn't wait for you to be an adult before he starts thinking about what you can do for him or how you can impact lives. He doesn't wait until the day you become born again to decide what he wants to use you to do. Your destiny was established by God before you were even conceived. Uh -huh. He proves this to us in Jeremiah 1, 4, and 5 when he tells us, before I made you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you were born, I chose you for a special work. Yeah. Yeah. See, the devil doesn't like that. He doesn't want to see this plan manifested. But our God does. And he tells Jeremiah in chapter 1 and verse 12, he tells Jeremiah, what do you see, Jeremiah? And Jeremiah replied, a walking stick. That's all. And God says, good eyes. I'm sticking with you. I'll make every word I give you come true. Uh -huh. Somebody just missed a moment to shout because God said, I'm sticking with you. I'll make every word I give you come true. God will do what he said he will do because our lives matter to God. change even when you're going in a direction completely different from what originally planned for your life is greater than your disaster yeah 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 your destiny is greater than your disaster you were created to walk in your destiny so what's stopping you is it you is it fear is it a lack of faith that's making what God promised you not seem real. You see, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So if you want to see some evidence, keep seeking the things of God. Keep uh -huh. praying. Keep believing. Okay. And anticipate the thing that God has for you. Everything that God has for you is already yours. You just got to develop the patience to wait out the process. Why? Because my destiny is worth the wait. Amen. Your destiny is worth the wait. Go and high five your neighbor real quick and tell them my destiny is worth the wait. Now, now that you declared that, how many of y'all are actually willing to wait? Yeah. Amen. Amen. You see, waiting produces anticipation. Uh huh. Anticipation produces expectation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And expectation is sure to get you to your breakthrough. Okay. All right, now. Say that again. All right. Waiting produces anticipation. Yeah. Your anticipation will produce the expectation. Yeah. And your expectation is sure to get you to your breakthrough. All right, now. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Uh -huh. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary.
weary and they shall walk and not faint. Now let me wrap this up because I don't want to be <laughs> over my time. I already know you long wind, you'll never preach again. <laughs> on our destiny. We learn that we're going to expect our destiny and we're going to anticipate our destiny. Now we're going to discover what our destiny is and how to walk into it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is you have to learn to pray. Mm. In your prayer times, all you have to do is ask God what his will is for your life. Matthew 7 and 7 says, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you will find, knock, and it will be open to you. God wants to lead you, guide you, and give you the answers to those questions. Second thing you need to do is learn to meditate on God's word. God will reveal his will for you through his word. So as you read your Bible daily, chapter by chapter and verse by verse, God will make a certain scripture stand out to you more than the rest. That's the answer that you've been looking for. Uh -huh. The Holy Spirit inside of you will bear witness that God's answer to your question is in that verse. God may even answer you through other people, through the Holy Spirit that resides in you, or even in a dream. But the most important thing is that you are open to God speaking and uh -huh. that you're sensitive to the Holy Ghost Spirit leading. So we're going to push forward. And once you, you've figured out your divine purpose, you must stay encouraged until that purpose is fulfilled. Remember, your waiting is not in vain. It can take a long time sometimes for God's will in your life to come to pass because he's shaping and he's molding you every day. Amen. And uh -huh. the longer you wait, the bigger your blessing's going to be. All right now. You may not know how to reach that destiny, or you can't even see it in the near future, but I encourage you today, don't get discouraged. Don't lose sight of your purpose. You have to keep the vision of the end goal always before you. Mm -hmm. And remember, no one can stop your destiny, because what God has for you, it is for you. Uh -huh. And what God said he will do, it will come to pass. So I encourage you to keep helping others, encourage others as they're searching and, and reaching for their God-given destinies, even when you're in your waiting season. Don't be a hater. Don't say I'm not going to help them because I'm still waiting to get mine. All right, now. God will not bless that. But trust, he's not in the business of blessing the haters, but he's going to make those haters your footstool. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just have patience. And let things happen in God's time. And that reminds me of this song I used to listen to in my younger days back in Louisiana. It was called Walk It Out. It's a little about song. But the song said, I'm here with no fear. I walk it out. That song was simply saying, I'm not afraid to go through some things to get to my destiny. When times get hard, I walk it out. Yeah, when yeah, they yeah. Talk about me, don't even know what they're talking about. I walk it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. When my money looks funny, I walk, I walk it, it out. out. All right, now, girl. When I thought I had a friend who turned their backs on me, I walk it out. All right. So I stop by here to tell you today that your destiny is here. So go, go through what you got to get through and go and walk it out. All right, now, ladies.